Live from Tampa Bay 10, here's Life Around the Bay. Well, a local school district is rolling out something very exciting, and they hope it's going to save them some big bucks, too. Find out what the fuss is all about. Plus the rapid changing hairstyles of Lindsay Lowen. As gas prices continue to go up and up, even for the more efficient diesel fuel, the Manatee County School District has found a way to save on fuel costs. The symbolic electrical extension cord for they can plug it in at night. The district received the nation's first two hybrid school buses. Students won't notice any changes on the inside. The difference is seen on the outside. This is actually what's called plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, and it uses power off of the electric grid at night, which is significantly lower cost to use. Within six hours, the hybrid bus is ready for the road. What makes it go is found underneath. The metal canister is the electric motor. The electric motor drives additional power to the rear wheels, taking strain and therefore the mileage improvement off the engine. You will receive approximately 70% to 100% mileage improvement for about the first 50 miles of service. Fuel economy then adjusts to about 50%. The fuel used is also cleaner. Fuel emissions drop by 90%. We see the automotive world moving to hybrids. The commercial world needs to, needs to adopt that as well. Former aerospace engineer turned school bus driver Marion Patterson will be one of the drivers. I like the way it was put together. It's the, the simplicity of it is impressive to me. School district officials hope the money saved on fuel will mean more money for the classroom. In Bradenton, Isabel Mascareñas, Tampa Bay's 10 News. Now the buses will be part of a two-year-long study. A GPS system on each bus will track travel. Also, they're going to keep track of maintenance and fuel use to determine efficiency. The buses cost $225,000 each, and that's twice that of traditional school buses. The manufacturer, however, expects that price to drop as more school districts go hybrid.